And away from that, named after a space trailblazer of the 60s, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, an heir to the Hubble Space Telescope, is set to take flight in collaboration with the European and Canadian space agencies. Take a look at this next report. The successor of the Hubble Space Telescope. It is the most powerful astronomical observatory. At a budget of $10 billion, it is also the most expensive. But most importantly, it is finally about to take flight. It is the James Webb Space Telescope. And it might just give us a glimpse into the creation of the cosmos. With its infrared eyes that are equipped to glare down black holes, forge the galaxy for alien worlds and detect possible signs of life. So the James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's next flagship space telescope. It is a collaboration between NASA and the European and Canadian space agencies. It will address a wide range of scientific topics, but first and foremost, it will detect the first galaxies in the universe and it will characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets around other stars. With an aim to explore exoplanets, the James Webb is a seven-ton space telescope with its sunshade the size of a tennis court. That had to be folded like a paper crane to fit the nose cone of the European Ariane rocket that will lift off from the French Guiana. The James Webb will have to undertake the daunting task of unfurling while the spacecraft is darting towards its perch 1.6 million kilometers away. This sun shield is quite remarkable. It deploys, as I said, about the size of a tennis court. There's five distinct layers. And on the sun-facing side of the bottom layer, the temperature is about 250 degrees. And on the telescope-facing side of the top layer, you've deflected so much of the light that the temperature is minus 375 degrees, or only 36 degrees above absolute zero. And that keeps the telescope the instruments and everything about it cold so it can detect these faint signals from distant space. It is a much more complex design compared to the Hubble with much more ambitious objectives and there is always the possibility of things going wrong as has happened before in the test runs. It will take Webb a full month to reach its intended parking spot beyond the moon post which it would take five months for instrument checks before it can finally get to work by the end of June. The telescope will be supervised by the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, one that also operates the Hubble. Bureau Report Me On, World is One.